I know I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Because I made a video about how I said I didn't want to do it. You know, I was like, I have friends, but I feel like I don't have friends. And then I, I was like thinking it, and I mean, I overthink. I think overly to a point where it's just psychotic. Like, like if it goes down this route, what would you do at the end? How would you deal with it? If it went this way or that way, um, if you got bullied or harassed or what would you say? How would you feel? Like, how would it go? Like, what happens then? Like, I overthink to, like, beyond. And I mean, I'm not just overthinking one possibility. I'm overthinking all the possibilities. You know, like, it's, it's bad. Like, um, bad. And, uh, so after thinking about it and saying it out loud, the, the thought that I had at that moment became tangible and real and touchable and like yeah I think those are the the right ones I'm going for but after talking about it I was like okay I get that I'm probably secluding myself more than my friends are secluding me um or at least that's what I chose to believe at the time was that right like you feel sad, and maybe it's true, but as long as you can find that one loophole and that one hope, like, you know, go with it. Um, but, so I felt really confident after making that video, because I was like, you know, I don't talk to them either, so, pfft. Uh, and I mean, I totally get that I do that, because I'm the type of person who it's like, depending on who messages me, like, there's certain people I will only talk to, like, once every couple of weeks, um, they'll send me a bunch of stuff and I'll just talk to them like once every couple of weeks. Um, just because, like I still like them, you know, but it's just because I can't handle, like, cause I don't know, I feel like personally I would run out of topics to talk to them about, so I feel like I kind of just shove it all into like one day instead of over a time because I, I can't handle talking to them for so, too long because it's like if I talk to them. I feel like I myself would get boring to them really quickly so I like let all their like or they're like hey how's it going or I just did this today or that or this or let's talk about this well I let it build up until it's like one day and then I'll just like the whole thing and then I'll like talk to them like I'm not trying to be rude or nothing I still want to talk to them it's just that's how I deal with certain people and so I totally get um <clears throat> you know but you still like okay so when you want to talk to someone and it's on Facebook, it does kind of hurt to think about the fact that, okay, so you may not be able to, like, read their messages. Like, on Facebook, there's, like, the little message bar at the bottom, and then there's also the message, like, notification at the top. And if you click on the message notification on the top, it'll show you, like, a quick, like, little chunk of the message they sent you. So, I mean, I'll look at that, and if it's just, like, hey what's up or like something I usually just kind of wait till I'm ready to talk to that person but so I felt really confident and I felt like really epic really awesome and I decided to talk to my friends who I felt like I haven't talked to in forever and I mean I didn't want to talk to them because I thought they would be really busy because there was like a anime con thing that happened and it actually made me really sad that I couldn't go to it because I'd saved up money to go to it but, because my, like, friend who actually went to it invited me to go camping, I ended up using my money for, like, that. And so that was, like, really, like, pretty upsetting to me. But, I mean, the camping was really fun and definitely worth it. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta go fishing, gotta go do a cra bunch of crazy stuff, gotta argue about a bunch of stuff. But, I mean, I enjoy the... Oh, why is my hand tilting? Okay. So, I, like, I enjoy the fight, so it was good. But I spent my money on that, so I couldn't go to this convention... Um, because it was, like, once we came back, it was about, like, I'm gonna say ten days after we came back, maybe. Uh, because we came back on, like, the 4th of August, and it was on, like, the 15th or something? I don't know. Um, so they went, and I was like, well, they're busy, I'm not gonna bug them, I'm gonna wait till they talk to me, because, you know, I, I was actually pretty excited, because I wanted to ask about how the con went, and I wanted to ask about what was all there, and what I missed, and uh, what I didn't get to go and uh, see. And, you know, because I was actually pretty excited about this, because, I mean, 
as a, a kid who kind of uh, suppressed the, um, the anime love, you know, because of the friends I had in high school and crap like that, to find this one friend who was like, no man, let it out. And I was like, oh, so happy. And I mean, like, sure, I'm not on, like, their level, um, but it was still pretty cool. And then the fact that I didn't really know too much about these conventions and stuff, and I thought it would be really cool to go to my first one um, with, uh, like, friends that I actually really enjoy. And I couldn't, and that actually, like, hurt me on a level that, um, yeah, on a level that hurt. And so, okay, so I was, like, confident the other day. I was like, I'm going to message them. And I was literally like, dude, I was like, what are you doing this weekend? Because I just finished painting my room. I'm going to be moving back into my house. I was like, holy shit. Like, I want them to come over or whatever they're doing. Like, come hang out with me and it'll be like, uh, yay, I'm out of foster care. Welcome home. Like, sleeper for a party because we haven't seen each other in like a month. I don't know. And I know the whole, like, you can kind of see it. Thing, like without actually seeing it um and you're gonna get the notification that someone messaged you and you're uh like you just you just know that they probably know what you asked and the fact that they post shit all over Facebook still interact with the uh, <laughs> with the um the uh the group chat that you kind of are in hurts a little bit a lot actually um, and I know I shouldn't take it personal, but that just means I'm not as important as I thought I was. And I've been fighting with myself for a very long time to go, no, that's not true. You're important to people. You gotta remember that. You're still important. They don't just hate you now. Um, but this is kind of like, uh... Maybe I really am as important as I thought I was the whole time. Where I wasn't very important, you know? So that's shitty. But I painted my room and, you know, my happy, happy fucking thoughts and shit, right? Is a, uh, I can go do what I've always wanted to do. And I'm probably going to do that, like, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And if they don't get back to me, then I guess they miss out on the fun trip of whatever the fuck I'm doing with my life. Uh, I don't know, I guess try and stay positive. And sometimes people just fucking suck. But even if they suck, as long as you have a loving pet, then people can fucking stay out of your life. Look at the shit. <laughs> she made weird noises. <laughs> Peace out.